In this short video, we're going to have a look at how Microsoft Dynamics CRM can be used to capture client help desk information using its case functionality. More importantly, we're going to see how, by configuring business processes within CRM, you can guide your users through the correct process and capture the information you need more effectively. This can also help by reducing training requirements. In this example, we're going to assume the role of a customer services representative and use the quick create function in order to create a new case. And we will simply enter the customer name and the title or the nature of their inquiry. Having done so, you'll see here that the system automatically asks me if I wish to now view that record and continue working with it. Once I've loaded that record, I can then start to use the business process bar at the top here to guide me through the correct process to effectively deal with this problem. So in this case, we've configured a very simple business process. First of all, we verify the customer is active with a support contract. Secondly, we capture the details of the actual request. Thirdly, we track the progress of this request. And finally, we resolve it. So let's start working through this problem that our client has registered with us about their printer. If we look at the first stage here, the first thing that we need to do is to verify the information. And that in this example means that we've confirmed that they actually have a support contract with us and we can process this issue. We can then move on to the next stage of our pre-configured and example business process, which captures details about the actual problem itself. So first of all, we need to identify what type of case this is. Is it a complaint? Is it a problem? Note that if I chose complaint, that a different set of screens would be provided by the system to the user. But we're actually recording a problem. And again, the screen changes the type of information that we need to capture automatically. This is very useful and reduces things like training time required to get your people up to speed on capturing case information. We can add a subject to this. Again, this is a a definable list. And we can then move on to entering additional information such as the product. I will choose my all in one printer as an example and enter a serial number. I can also identify the case origin. Did it come in by phone, email, or web? Well, assume that this came in as a telephone call and we can add a brief description. So let's move on to our third stage in this example business process, which is to track the progress of this case. I can simply schedule a follow-up call, which I will do for today. This will automatically default to me as a user in this example and add an activity to the case. I will just simply record that as complete in this case. Finally, we can move on to the resolve section. Now, first of all, I need to confirm how satisfied the customer was and we will say that they are very satisfied in this example and I can also mark the case as resolved. Now in order to do so and actually mark this case as resolved the configured business process in this example that we've produced here will require me to close any outstanding activities. In other words I cannot close this case if there are still tasks outstanding. So as you see here down in the activities pane of the case there is that call that we scheduled for today for me to follow this case up. So let's go in and simply mark that as complete. And now we will be able to close our case. Now there is an option here to add billable time and to add a resolution. Click on resolve and we've now closed our case. Now before we navigate away from this case, it's worth just pointing out that by following that guided business process, We've captured all the information we need about the actual case. So over here, we captured the title, we created a subject, we identified the customer, that it was a problem, that this inquiry came in via phone, that there was a follow-up action, that those activities have been completed, a description of the problem, and so forth. And of course, all of that is also recorded where there's an activity involved in the activity pane, as you would expect. So rather than people jumping around all over the place and perhaps missing information, by guiding them through the process, you guarantee capturing all the information you need. You will, of course, notice that there are some fields down here that we haven't captured information on. That is purely because the way that we have configured the business process in this example, it's not required to capture that information. That is completely definable by you. 
And finally, it's worth pointing out, of course, that as well as dealing with those cases very effectively on an individual basis, all of this data is, of course, updating the customer service representative dashboard, as an example, with all of that data as well. So if I look at this graph here that gives me cases by priority per day, I can see that a case has in fact been created today, as we know. And by looking at the data that created that graph, drilling down to just today's date, I can of course see that problem with the printer has been recorded effectively. So to conclude, Dynamic CRM gives a superb functionality to capture case details, but more importantly, to guide individual agents through the correct business process to ensure that information is gathered as it should and cases are concluded to the customer's satisfaction.